assalamu alaikum uh, now today we will cover our login and log out and uh, here it is our login page and here are our routes we have login route now let's uh, create a login for post where we will get login information So this post login let's create this post login and login controller public function post login and as we are using sentinel so we will use sentinel at the top and we will get the data so we will use request and at the first stage we will term this request request of now let's go to our loginblade.php login.blade.php let's change this field name to email and password field to password and add a action method for this form to url login and after this form line we will add a csrf field for our token and in previous lecture i have told about this csrf field what does it do and for remember me let's change it to remember and we have completed our login page let's click on login button and we have this data and with remember we have remember on So now let's create our post login method sentinel and first of all i am disabling all of the checkpoints and i'll tell you later what all these checkpoints are we will also validate our fields so therefore let's create an array for error messages and a validator object let's make validator validator make request all for first parameter and then second parameter will be and second parameter will be our rules and the third parameter will be our error messages So now let's create rules for our fields for email we will create two rules required and the required email must be in email format so email and the second rule is that for password the password field is required now let's create error messages for email dot required please provide email id and for email dot email we will show this message the email must be a valid email and for third password dot required
password is required. So these are our validators. Now let's if validator fails, then what to do? We will return this data as JSON format. So let's create an array and we will first show our status will which is error and then a message with this error please review fields and we will also throw errors which the validator has so all the errors of validator Now if the validator is successful then then we have two conditions if remember is on or remember is off. So let's create our try and catch block. We will catch two exceptions here. The first exception is throttling exception. And the second exception is not activated exception. So these are the two exceptions I am not using right now as I have disabled the checkpoints. Disabling the checkpoint is actually disabling these, these two checkpoints. The throttling actually uh, checks if a user enters three or more time wrong password then it stops the user and it stops a user for entering its credentials for few seconds so we will get those seconds in get delay and we will return a message copy these lines and paste it here and we will change the message please to you because we, there are no fields now and in errors you are banned for delay second So let's copy this array and in not activated exception we will change this message please activate your account so as we have these errors so we have to return these errors at this point and we will convert this array into json format with error code 500 and for all of other exceptions we will also return this response so this is a block if remember is on if the remember is not on then then i am just copying all of these lines and pasting in else block and we will change it to authenticate
so if our user has login then we will check if sentinel checked sentinel check will check that if the user is successful login or not if the user is successful login then we will redirect it to dashboard as we don't have any dashboard right now so we will redirect it to home url and if the user is not successfully login then we will return a message we will return this message that email or password is mismatched we have completed our login method now let's go to our cloud file and let's create another method and we are creating logout method using get i will later tell you about logout post method but at this moment uh, we are creating logout get method so public function logout and this is very simple sentinel logout and then we will return to our login page and also add url here and now let's check our login page and we have this error validator not found actually i forgot to use validator here so let's go on top of the file and after sentinel i will use validator and we have used two exceptions here so we have to include those exception here use cartelist sentinel checkpoint and the first checkpoint is throttling exception copy this and we have second exception not activated exception so all done we have completed our login method now let's refresh and it redirected back to our home url if i type here login then it is showing login page let's make some changes in login method let's add a line if we are already login let's check sentinel check it means that if we are already login then return us to home url now when we will click our login page then it will redirect us to home url and now let's play with some errors let's enter multiple time wrong username or password and then uncomment the line disable checkpoints and then then you will see that it will block you for few seconds so we have completed our login and logout method we have completed our login and logout method see you in the next lecture take care bye bye